You're listening to the BBC World Service. This is CNN. I'm Marco Werman, here with the world. BBC News starts right now. In Ijang, a SUNY Buffalo professor studying social media, Tolu Odunsi is a lecturer in law at the University at Buffalo. We are joined by Jacob Nyheisel, an associate professor for political science at the University at Buffalo. At the end of the day, though, I didn't see anything that's fundamentally going to change the, the nature of this race. These multiples of 250 to 350 times what the median employee makes. Seems unusual, but it's right in line with what's, what's happened in the past three or four years. And also with us is Samantha Barbas, a University of Buffalo law professor. So it really seems that what is going on is there is a kind of politically uh, motivated attack on Sullivan. Now to talk more about the dangerous spread of misinformation online is Heidi Julian, professor with the Department of Information Science at the University at Buffalo. Nicholas Brakovich studies climate adaptation and resilience in cities and buildings. Why and how did we evolved to have mucus at all. I spoke to Omer Gokumen and Stefan Roux at the University of Buffalo. SUNY Distinguished Professor Dr. Thomas Rousseau says that even if a COVID test says it's expired, you could still use it. This was the site that got me into community archaeology. This is a wall of the former Cataract House Hotel. It's time now for Ask an Expert. Stefan Santa Ramirez, professor in the Educational Leadership and Policy Department at the University at Buffalo. Natalie Simpson, an expert in emergency response operations at the University of Buffalo. How common is it for something to hit the moon unintentionally? It's very uncommon. This is the first time that we know of. School lockdown drills can help save lives. Yeah, so when done right, we would argue that the benefits outweigh the risks. 